and Koliso, you spent a full day there. Do the people of Orania show any interest at this stage in integrating with the rest of South Africa beyond racial lines? Well, I can tell you this, uh, Tembegile, that uh, the more conversations I have with uh, the residents of Orania, the more it would seem to me they are determined to make sure uh, that uh, this Afrikaner homeland uh, aspiration they have becomes a reality more than anything. So it would appear to me that um, integrating into South Africa is something that they're not averse to, but... Uh, they are more determined uh, than anything else to make sure that um, the Afrikaans uh, or the Afrikaner uh, community is preserved, in particular the culture and heritage. And uh, um, I have a pleasure now, uh, Tembegile, to actually speak to young people, in fact, the young up-and-coming uh, business people. Uh, they live here in Orania, so uh, let's find out from them uh, what their aspirations are and whether or not they actually have any, um, any, any, any inspirations of actually joining the rest of South Africa as opposed to living in Orania. So I have with me Monia, who is uh, the lady that's wearing the darkish jacket, and then I have uh, Anna Marie, who is in the red shirt. Let me start with you, Anna Marie. Mm -hmm. You only moved to Orania six months ago yes. did you move here alone and what interested you about Orania? yes i i moved here six months ago uh, alone after studying i started working in the hospitality industry and i had the opportunity to come and work here i already knew uh, a lot of people in the community and you I thought, visited here a lot is it yes while i was a student i came here frequently um, so I, I was used to coming here and I thought, well, I have this opportunity, I'll, I'll come here for a while and see how it goes. And um, soon I got another opportunity and I was kind of promoted. So um, it's been going really well. And um, you are a manager at a restaurant that we've just had lunch yes. in and uh, your food is quite nice, I must tell you that. Uh, thank you. Uh, but you've got to tell me this, you are 23 years old, am I correct? Yes. Where are your parents? My parents are still in Pretoria. Uh, I grew up there um, and I went to study in um, Pochofstrom. So, and then after that I came here. So my parents are still living in Pretoria. Working they don't there. have any aspirations of coming to live in Orania? I think they might. Um, it's their own choice. Mm -hmm. But um, they have stable work opportunities where they are at the moment. So I think just, just because of the work, they'd stay there for now. Um, but maybe in a few years time, they they will decide to come here. Before I move on to Monia, one more time, I'm going to try one more time. Mm -hmm. What attracted you to Orania? I, I want to start my own business. So, and this is the place to do it yes. with only 1,600 residents? This is the perfect opportunity to do it because um, you have a, a small town that's growing. So there's so many opportunities to start businesses. There's so many um, places to still fill, still niches that, that are um, unidentified. And so we see uh, a lot of businesses starting up uh, here. Okay. All right. Monia? Let's come to you. You grew up here since you were five years old. You only moved out of this community because you needed a tertiary education. Today you are a qualified chartered accountant and you saw it fit to come back here some two years ago after being out of this community for about seven years. What brings you back here? Yeah, as you said, I grew up here and I think Uranya really uh, grows on you. Um, so I, Why? <laughs> what's interesting so about Urania? So many reasons. Yeah, what's interesting about Urania? So many things. But for me, the positive energy, the positive contribution that we want to make to the, towards the rest of South Africa. Um, people always ask us whether we don't see ourselves as very isolated. And I think we, we take part in making South Africa a better place by building Urania. But someone is going to disagree with you and say, no, you're actually not contributing to uh, South Africa. All you want, uh, and those that you live with here, is simply an opportunity to live only 
as this Afrikaner community. And perhaps let me ask you the question as a person who's actually uh, grew up here, but then you went outside to taste um, what the rest of South Africa is like. Uh, what was that experience like? Because you actually even found a job after uh, qualifying as a chartered accountant. Yes. So I but why did you all leave all that behind? Um, because I really want to be here. Um, I, I think also um, it's, we have many opportunities here economically. Um, we have 10% growth rate uh, for the past, I think, four years. So as Anna-Marie said, it's a very good place to start a business. Um, and yeah. Let me ask this question of you, uh, Anna-Marie. Yes. The two of you, I'm picking up one sentiment. Yes. And that is, there's more opportunities here. Yes. Are you part of those people that are saying there are no opportunities for a person with a white skin in the broader South Africa, or there are less opportunities for those people? And perhaps uh, this is what, the last hope? Is, is that the sentiment I'm getting? Am I mm -hmm. correct in reading? Yes, I know people do say that. But I don't necessarily agree with that. I do see that a lot of young graduates, regardless of their race, are struggling to find work. Um, the economical situation in South Africa is, is like that, that you, are, you have your qualification and you are very eager to work, but you don't have the experience yet or you don't have the opportunity. And so you are between things. Um, and there are opportunities to come here. As I said, we're growing as a town, so that we have a unique situation here where other towns and other cities already uh, settled and they have their businesses. Yeah. There is a lot of still niches. Monia, you actually got an internship at PricewaterhouseCoopers, one of the, the established uh, auditing firms in, in South Africa. Why the choice to come back here? Was it because you couldn't actually find a job, a permanent position? Because from internship, what then happened? Um, so it's, it's a person, it was a personal choice for me. Um, I felt like auditing was not really something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, and therefore, I decided to go a little bit out of the auditing um, sector, um, try something new. Uh, be an entrepreneur for a while and see where life takes me. Okay, can, can I be more difficult with you? <laughs> you may. And say that a whole qualified chartered accountant, you've decided to come back to Orania, uh, you work in a family business where it's a hardware store and you manage that perhaps together with uh, your family. Um, was it the lack of job opportunities that brought you back here, or you genuinely no, no, just no, 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 want no, to come not at with all. You? I had a few um, job offers, and I decided that I want to be here, uh, except for the fact that I want to work uh, in, you know, start, start our own business. Um, I really, really enjoy it in Urania. I like to be here and um, be part of everything that we do here. Um, as I said, we have a really a positive. Um, energy here and it's nice to be part of it. We are not negative every day um, dealing with crime and dealing with um, unfairness and whatever. We work toward, towards uh, something better, a better future for It's interesting ourselves. you talk about crime but it's a discussion I'm going to have with uh, people uh, later in the evening, the, the leadership here. But I do want to ask this question of you. What do you say to people who live in the broader South Africa, that uh, this actually, what the people of Orania are doing, um, is upsetting for them and perhaps should be shut down. How would you respond to them? Uh, yes, Anna I know that there are people who feel like that, but I, I think we have a, a peaceful uh, community here. I don't think we, we threaten anyone. Um, we live and work here every day. We work towards a goal. Um, where other communities don't necessarily have a goal that they work towards, so we're unique in that way. Um, but I'd say let us be. Uh, I think we set a good example for other communities who, um, who struggle with social problems or who we want to get ahead. 
um, we set an example and say, well, this is how we do it, um, and and it's working. We have the the yeah, we can show you. <laughs> Monia, yes, I see lots of um, Freedom Front Plus posters in and around Orania. Are you a registered voter? Are you even interested in the upcoming general election? Yes, Are you I going am. to be voting? And if so, uh, would you mind me asking who you're going to be voting for? So I'm registered and I'm definitely going to vote, but um, unfortunately I'm not going to tell on national television and that's quite a personal matter for me. Okay, but if you're going to participate in a general election, it means that you're interested in someone running this entire country. But yet, at the same time, there is this what people view as a white enclave. Mm, exactly, but uh, we, are, that we are still part of South Africa. We have to adhere to the constitution. We are not a separate country. So while it's still like that, we are going to I am still going to participate in the national mm -hmm. election. We do acknowledge that we're still a part of the South African broader community. So it is important to vote. All right. Uh, I uh, thank you to both of you uh, for talking to us. Uh, it's really interesting and uh, an eye-opener uh, for me to talk to young people and find out and understand why uh, they would want to, as people say in South Africa, the broader South Africa, isolate themselves. Uh, do you feel isolated? No, I don't. Um, I sure feel far away from my family in, in, in Pretoria. It is a, a, a very far. Um, How do your parents feel about this? I, I think I, I go and visit them as often as I can, um, but I don't feel isolated. We're still part of the broader community. We interact with other towns that are near here, and uh, yeah, so I no, don't feel that isolated. Interesting indeed. Thank you very much, Anna Marie and uh, Monia. Thank you very much for Thank having you. Uh, you. spoken to us. Yeah, well, uh, Tamagila, these are just uh, some of the views of uh, the community members here, perhaps the younger community members, and uh, you heard it for yourself. Uh, they feel very much a part of uh, the larger South Africa, but uh, they're just much more comfortable uh, in Orania. So uh, we're going to be having uh, another conversation, uh, Tamagila, in the not-so-distant uh, time, and um, keep coming to us. I think we're going to bring you more uh, interesting conversations from Orania.